shows you showing all your goods. <laughs> Nancy, I got a video. She's offended. <laughs> hey besties, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Um, and if this is your first time, welcome. So today I am going to do a little styling video of just wearing some outfits that I put together to your suggestions of places and locations and occasions uh, that you had suggested to me on Instagram. So let's see outfit number one. <laughs> This is for a creative interview, like Teen Vogue or Man Repeller, red. I feel like if I were to go back to a 95 again, I would want to do something that's a little bit more creative, and I feel like this is probably what I would wear. What was the contract? Pants that I got second half of Depop. I have some white sneaks that I probably should clean before I went for an interview. Um, I have a little graphic tee from Lisa's Ska. I have this cardigan that I got from Hope Maculay. Um, very cozy, and then I have this baggy purse that I got for Christmas. And I feel like it's very sleek. Orange clips so they know I'm ready to put my hair back and just get to work and, you know, focus because I'm that kind of gal. No, I'm in with the Gen Z kids. I got all the fun colors going on. And again, I feel like this might be a little bright, but I also feel like, aren't you going into an interview to stand out? If this is too much for them, I don't want to work for them because obviously our energies don't match. That's not who I want to work for. So, stop with the job you want to have, you know? I don't know. Don't take career advice from me. <laughs> so this is outfit number two, beach day, which I feel like this is more so like actually me going to the beach or going to like more of like a lake as opposed to like going to like a resort. I have my you swim top, some thrifted shorts. I absolutely love the whole mom mom short thing. It's just chef's kiss, so cozy. Same with this bathing suit, the you swim bathing suit. It's a uh, seven sizes in one. And what I really like about it is that I always feel really confident wearing this. Like it, it, it just really fluctuates with my body. And I think that this is a great piece to invest in. And I have my little bucket hat from Find Me Now the Label. Tote bag from Bagu because you gotta bring the goods in something. And I have my shoes are from Teva. I feel like these Tevas, just like the color combination of this is just like real fun. It's like almost like earth tone, but a little like spicier. And so I feel like it's fun. And then up close, I think in all my outfits I'm gonna wear my rings because I'm, I'm constantly wearing my rings all the time. Some thrifted sunnies with a little sunglasses chain. Actually, I think it's a mask chain from, ugh, I'm blanking on the name, but I love them so much. I'll make sure to put it here, but they're really awesome. And I mean, these upcycle mask chains that I'm using for my sunglasses because you don't want to lose your sunnies. This is realistically what I think I would wear to a beach day. And I'll, I'll have plenty of those coming up here in SD. Hot girl summer, it's where it's at. See you at the beach, beaches. <laughs> Okay, outfit number three is really creative. I like this one, it was um, picking up your kids from school for bad behavior. And I actually wore this outfit uh, to one of my date nights recently, one of my date nights, <laughs> to a date night recently. And I, and I made the joke too that like, this looks like something your mom would wear when she's gonna come pick you up and you're like, oh shoot, like I'm I'm in trouble. Like it's going down. I'm so sorry, Ms. Carter. That will not happen again. I'm like, get, get over here, get over here, let's go. Also maybe because it's more like a 90s, 2000s like type fit. It just kind of reminds me of like what my mom would probably wear when my mom was picking me up from school and I was like, <laughs> not gonna be a good drive back. So, um, so the whole fit, I have this dress from CYK, which is a brand from Canada where she upcycles and hand makes these dresses, which is really cute. It's a little see-through, so I hope you can't see anything. <laughs> I have this leather jacket that I had thrifted in Joshua Tree, some leather boots that I got secondhand off of Depop. And then this is a cactus, leather purse that I got from Santos by Monica. Super dope, super sick. And again, out of the effect of like my keychain on my wrist, I got this from Area Wear like a few years ago. And then these sunnies are thrifted, of course. Come on, let's go home, let's go. So outfit number four is an NYC look or NYC brunch, but uh, I got asked a little bit of both. And I've actually never been to New York before, but I am planning on doing a little New York trip for the first time this summer. So I feel like this is something I would probably wear while I'm out there. So I'm wearing a little swim top because I heard in the, in the summers it gets real hot and humid in New York. So if I sweat, it makes sense and my top's ready for that. A little Lily Pulsar vintage squirt. <laughs> Eat that, I was gonna flash you. I'm a little classier than that. So comfortable being able to run around in like a score as opposed to like a mini skirt, but then it's like still like get all the breathing room you would get for um, wearing like a skirt. Paired it with this linen button up that I got and it's also th thrifted and I feel like it's just like, you know, keeps you nice and cool. Have my cute little mules that I would wear with them. 
also thrifted. Little brown purse with a clip because again, your girl gets sweaty so easily. So, you know, might have to whip the hair in the back and just, you know, keep for my face. And I wear my little vintage sunnies again with the mask chain that I mentioned earlier. And it's a look, it's giving me city girl vibes, but also like pretty clearly tell I'm from California, I think still. Um, but I feel like this is something like, this is the type of vibe I would go for this summer when I finally visit New York. And outfit number five is a school outfit for a fall day or a chilly spring day. And I feel like this kind of fulfills both. This is like what I thought I was wearing in college, but I wasn't. But if I were to go back to school and I was like my little cutesy marketing major self, um, I feel like this is probably what I would wear. Something just really cozy, academic vibes, but also just like my fun little personality. So I have this cozy jumper that was hand knit for me from a uh, woolen gang. However, I believe that you're supposed to, I think they only sell kits instead of actually selling a knitted, so I'm not completely sure if this is made available, but I'm really grateful for it being gifted to me and someone knitting it for me because I don't really have skills to knit, so. If you're a knitter, you can you can make this too. So um, I have a little button up, a little academia vibes. I have some cozy jeans on that I got from Frank and Oak. And then I have some dad shoes because you're gonna be walking all day. You gotta be cozy. Uh, I got some dad socks that were like keeping my ankles extra cozy. I like it. Um, and bringing back the tote bag and claw clip for the same reasons as earlier where it feels like really professional and like just really ready for me to take on the day. So look at me being all educated and stuff. So cute. <laughs> Looking like educated and stylish. <laughs> and outfit number six is red carpet in the year 2000s, which I tried to go with something that was a little tacky, but also, you know, a little fun with, with like a Mean Girls vibe. I, I kinda actually look like I'm uh, straight from Mean Girls. I kinda look like Gretchen, so bad. So I have this cardigan, this little paisley cardigan, uh, this jean mini skirt, both thrifted as well as this purse which is also thrifted. It's not a brand name but it feels very tacky 2000s and I'm here for it. I'm honestly here for it. I have my little heels, little pink heels thrifted. Actually the entire outfit now is thrifted so. I added this bracelet that I've been meaning to do a fun little DIY with but it kind of works for this outfit so yeah catch your girl coming on the red carpet. <laughs> Outfit number seven is a garden wedding. Um, and I've been so obsessed with this entire outfit that I'm wearing. I've posted a couple times on social media and I feel like this is like a no-brainer for me. So this is a Lily Pulitzer dress that I got from ThreadUp. And it's kind of funny because I've never actually heard of the brand Lily Pulitzer, but then I've become very obsessed with it and I'm looking for more dresses from them. I know it's like this like really preppy 2000s, maybe like white suburbia mom brand, but I think they come up with the finest little patterns. Look at these cute little butterflies and it feels very gardeny to me. I feel like it just, it just, it makes sense for the occasion. I have my little pink purse that I also got from ThreadUp. Um, and then my little green heels that I got, and my little green heels that I got from my bachelorette party in 2019. So it's a look, it's a fit, and I'm about to be stunting at these weddings that I'm not actually going to. I really wish I could go to weddings. I don't have any friends who plan on getting married anytime soon, so I'll just wait till then. But in the meantime, I feel hot. <laughs> Outfit number eight is grocery store. I want to go with a realistic approach where I feel like realistically, I know I know throughout the pandemic we've joked about like, is my grocery store fit? And then you wear something like hella bougie. But I found a happy medium where honestly when I go to the grocery store, I just want to feel comfortable and cozy. So I have like my sweater I wear literally all the time and my find me now the label pants. But I do like to bougie it up just a little bit so people know I'm the main character when I'm grocery shopping. And I have my orange uh, platforms on and my cheetah print tote bag that's full, full of other little tote bags that I'll put all my groceries in so I can reduce waste. And I have a pair of sunnies where I usually just like wear my uh, sunglasses on top of my head as like almost like a headband. But then there are moments and times I'm like, I don't want to be recognized, I want to be here. And I'm like, also I like to listen to uh, music or podcasts when I'm in the grocery store and sometimes I listen to like sad girl music and I'm like kind of like tearing up and crying in the grocery store. So it's like just like, gonna, you know, gonna cry a little bit in the middle of the grocery store and have process some stuff. So um, a little form of therapy for me. And I just don't want people to ask me what's wrong because it is what it is and uh i've worn this a few times already to the grocery store and i think i feel i feel great 
I feel great when I do. Ninth outfit is an art museum day. And I feel like whenever I wanna go to the art museum, I'm feeling a little bit more whimsical or wanna be more creatively inspired. So I feel like it, my outfit has to match that. Also, I have to look like a piece of art myself, obvi. Um, so I have this custom made dress from Mulby the label. Um, and it's all handmade and super cute. Love the gingham and the fun little puff sleeves. These shoes are really cool. They're from a brand called Nothing New. It's like a really cool, fun, sustainable alternative to Converse. So if you're looking for another pair of Converse, this is a great brand to check out. And I used to wear pink Converse all the time, so it's nice that I have a sustainable option to find those new. And then I have my cactus leather bag again because it feels a little sophisticated and I'm a sophisticated gal. I feel like this is something like if you saw me at the art museum, you'd be like, wow. At least like that's what I think of when I see other people wear cool fits at the art museum. I'm like, zing. They're so <laughs> And I hope you would feel the same if you saw me. <laughs> and the last and final look is my Met Gala look, which um, I kind of wish I had more like fun, bougie pieces, but I don't. But I have my wedding dress uh, that I thought I can like kind of spice up for if I somehow got invited to the Met Gala. My wedding dress, I actually got it from Mara Hoffman. And just a little sustainable tip for those who are engaged or planning to get married in the future. Uh, just buy a sustainable designer dress that's white, if, or if you want it to be white, it doesn't have to be white. But if you're looking for a white dress, like a lot of places like upsell like a ton of like wedding dresses and I just ended up like paying $500. $500 seems like a lot for a designer dress, but for a wedding, that's, that's a bargain. So I have my little dress here. And this is the first uh, outfit I actually changed my accessories for. So I'm wearing my little Ariel Kellogg earrings and paired it with this like long scarf because I thought it gave me a little bit more of an elegant look. And the orange matches my platforms. I thought wearing platforms makes it a little bit more funky like a Mecca vibe, um, as opposed to wearing heels. So, you know, maybe this is kind of like what my 2000s uh, red carpet moment should have looked like, but. And then I have my little pink clutch purse and I'm wearing some like mixed match gold and silver jewelry for my rings. So. Hopefully, maybe one day I can pull off like a Zendaya look where she's just like, oh, so elegant and perfect, you know? That's kind of the vibe I'm going for, so. And that's all I have for y'all today. I hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun putting these outfits together. Uh, let me know if you want a part two to this. Maybe I'll do that later on, um, but I just had so much fun. So yeah, so thanks for watching this video and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Bye.